Hello and welcome to the Idea Sketch App Overview, brought to you by iPhoneWhisperer.com. For more app overviews and useful videos, come visit us at iPhoneWhisperer.com. The Idea Sketch app comes in a free version and also an upgraded version which offers more features. We will be reviewing and overviewing the free version. The Idea Sketch app is used to visually map ideas, concepts, outlines, projects, etc. in a way that allows you to think and map out your idea and share it with others. The first step we're going to do is locate and purchase, I say that, but it's really free, the Idea Sketch app on the App Store. So let's get started by opening the App Store by single tapping it, single tapping in the search area, and typing in idea sketch. When it shows up in the list below single tap it and that will bring up the screen that allows us to navigate to the purchase page. Once it shows up click on the free and then the install buttons as they show and the app will now install on your iPad or iPhone. Once the idea sketch app installs open it by single tapping it and then clear the notification or welcome thing by hitting the X on the screen. Now it's time to put our first idea on so we can overview the screen. To do that, tap the ideas button up in the left corner, hit the plus sign, and then type in a name for your new idea screen. This will allow us to get to the ideas file page and we can start our overview of it now. The tools are outlined here and circled for your reference and we will now go through them and show you what each one is. The first tool is going to be the undo tool. The undo tool allows you to reverse the last action you've taken. The next item we're going to look at is the name circled in the center of the page is the name of the idea screen that you are currently working on. The next item we're going to look at is the plus sign. This allows you to add a new item to the screen and begin working on it. The next button circled is the I or the format button. This allows you to format the entire document. The next button is the tools button. This is where you can learn to share, import text, and go to the help menu. The last item circled here is the outline view. This allows you to take and switch from a visual to a text view of your idea, and then you can edit the idea in the outline view by moving and adding new text items that will be reflected in the new visual plan. Now it's time to add our first item to our idea screen. To do this, hit the plus sign and type in a name for the item. And then hit the save button. This will place the new item on the screen and we can begin editing and adding other items after that. Once you hit the save button, clear the tip screen that shows and your new item that you entered will be on your screen. Now let's go ahead and take a look at it. You can add a new item under it by hitting the plus key or as we're going to do now hit the greater than symbol so that we can change the text size by clicking on the text size as you see at the bottom of the screen that opens. You can also change the color and shape at this point but we will not be doing that. Go ahead and hit the text size and that will up level the text size because this is my number one item I want it to be the largest text. Now let's go ahead and add another item to the screen by hitting the plus key up in the right hand corner and typing in a new name for the next item which we're going to call in this case idea level 2. Once you've typed in the name hit the save button and the new item will show up on the screen and we can edit it. The first thing we're going to do is connect the items together by swiping our finger between the items. To do this, first clear the tip screen off your screen and now we have both items available to us. As you can see, I put my finger on the screen and slid it from one item to the other to connect them. 
this makes level 2 item idea below level 1 item idea as you can see on the screen here to do more editing to them single tap the level 2 and we're going to hit the plus screen to add another item as you can see occurring here now that we've added the third item as a sub item of the idea level 2 tap the greater than key and we will change the properties of it we're going to change the color to a cream color and make it a circular item and lower the text down one level from idea level 2 that we're connected to type in a name for it and then you're completed with adding the next item and we have three items on our page after you finish typing in tap anywhere else on the white screen and that will close the keyboard and close the pop-up menu and as you can see we now have three items all connected together on the screen the next thing we're going to do is learn to move one of the items. To do that, place your finger over the item and keep it on the screen until the item expands. Once the item expands, you now can slide your finger around the screen and place the item anywhere you'd like. In this next little section here, I'm just going to move around the existing upper and middle level items, change the formatting of them, and just make my idea page look the way I want to look it too. So again, you hold and press your finger down until they expand, then you move them. To change their properties, hit the greater than sign. In this case, I'm going to change the shape to a circle and the fill color in the background to a light pink. That prepares it for my next level. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to format the lines and add arrows. To do that, put your finger on and tap the I button in the right hand corner. This will open a pop-up box allowing you to change the lines from either curved corners or square corners on the lines and to add arrows to the lines. The next thing we're going to look at is sharing your idea screen with someone else by email and then we'll wrap up by taking a quick look at the outline view. Sharing your idea screen with someone by email is relatively easy. To do this, hit the tool or wrench icon in the upper right corner, then single tap share, and then single tap send email. Now on the email screen that opens, type in the email address of the person you'd like to send it to or select it from your contacts. Once you've done this, single tap the send button you've now shared your new idea by email. The next thing we're going to cover is using the outline view of idea sketch to create a new idea and then we'll edit it and maneuver it around from the outline view. To do this hit the idea button in the upper left corner then the plus button to add a brand new screen. From the screen now single tap the outline view and it will put it in outline mode so we can begin. To add items in the outline mode it is the same as adding them then in the visual mode. You single tap the plus key in the upper right corner and type in the names. Right now we're going to go ahead and enter three of them. First entry, second entry, and third entry. This will give us some items to maneuver in the next several demonstrations. After you've entered the three entries, go ahead and toggle back and forth between the visual and the outline view to see how they look and notice that your entries are now both a visual and an outline. Once you've done that, we're now going to reorder them in the next screen. To reorder them, you put your finger over and hold it down the item you're going to want to move for a second or two and then you slide your finger and the item to the new location in the outline. In this case we're going to move the second entry down to the bottom and then we're going to do the same thing and move the third entry below the second entry. While we're moving stuff around let me show you how to make the second entry 
a sub-entry of the first entry. You do that for the same way as moving it, except now you hold it over the top of the first entry, and that makes it a second entry, as you can see as we toggle between the visual and outline view. And now let's go ahead and do that to the third entry, except we're now going to make it a sub-entry of the second entry. And we do this, you'll notice it disappears. That's because we have the arrow pointed to the right. If we tap the arrow and move it downward, it makes the third entry visible under the second entry. So let's toggle on the visual view and you can see how it's arranged now. Now I'm going to just move them around so you can see how the arrows point from one to the other. First entry to the second entry and then second entry to the third entry. Okay, we're done. Well, that concludes our overview of Idea Sketch app, the free app. For more useful videos and other app overviews, please visit us at iPhoneWhisperer.com. Thank you very much for your time, and we look forward to seeing you on the next video.